What's up guys, r, r Horror Hunter, aka Steve, back at you again with one more video. Uh, yeah, so I got tagged by uh, HorrorFanatic78, aka Adam. Uh, he's doing something that he calls the horrifying tag, or horrific tag, I think it's horrifying tag. I'm gonna put horrifying tag. In any case, he asked ten questions, and I've got them written down here in the trusty notebook. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'm just gonna get on here and ask, uh, answer these ten questions. First question is, how did you get into horror? Uh... I'm going to have to answer that question with a multitude of things. Uh, like I mentioned in my last video, my uh, uh, Q&A answers video, I uh, got into horror um, really with A Nightmare on Elm Street, but I was introduced to horror by my Aunt Carol, who uh, what let me watch Gremlins and Jaws 2 at a pretty early age. I also liked Goosebumps. And then I got into Stephen King a little bit later, uh, his books and stories, and Edgar Allan Poe. But really the first big introduction to horror that I got would probably have to be, and I hope you can still hear me down here, uh, this book right here. The Best Ghost Stories Ever. Uh, I picked this up at a little um, uh, school book fair. Not really knowing what it was, just it said ghost and uh, it intrigued me. The cover art was cool, I liked it, so I picked it up and I uh, figured out that it has some pretty great classic stories in it. Uh, the Empty House by Algernon Blackwell, The Monkey's Paw by W.W. W. Jacobs, The Legend of Sleepy Hollow by Washington Irving, The Mask of the Red Death by Edgar Allan Poe. You know, this generally just got me right into the uh, horror stuff. So, I have that to thank. Number two, how many horror movies do you own? I counted last night, and at the moment, I believe I will be adding one to my collection, possibly today, possibly a few weeks from now, I'm not sure. Uh, but right now, I have 118. Uh, number three, what is your favorite horror movie? Uh, I go back and forth, but at the time... Uh, at this time, Halloween's my favorite, with closely following behind Scream. So, there's that. And... What is your least favorite horror movie? Uh, I'd have to answer that with Children of the Corn 3, uh, Cabin in the Woods, Twilight, which isn't really a horror movie, and Scary Movie, which isn't really a horror movie. So, you know, they're based on horror movies, but they're not really. And then the other two are horror movies, and they suck. They're all tied for my least favorite. Uh, number five, what is your favorite horror franchise? Uh, I'm going to go kind of a top four here. Uh, Halloween, then Scream, uh, then... Friday the 13th, then A Nightmare on Elm Street. It goes back and forth, but really, uh, Halloween's always at number one. Scream's always at number two. I just kind of get mixed up when it comes to the rest of them. And then number six, what is my least favorite horror franchise? It's got to be Hellraiser uh, for an official horror franchise. I also hate Scary Movie. I'm not a big fan of Paranormal Activity, but, you know... Hellraiser, the first three are awesome, and then the rest of them pretty much suck. So, dear lord, don't make any more Hellraiser movies. Just leave it at what we've got, or maybe make a remake that's good. If you make a remake, it better be friggin' good. Alright? So, there's that. Number seven, what horror movie do you consider underrated? I talk about this one movie all the time, and it's Malevolence. It's a great film, great direct-to-video slasher film. Uh, spawned a prequel called um, uh, Bereavement, which is in my Netflix instant queue right now. Uh, I also think I Know What You Did Last Summer is really underrated. A lot of people like to make fun of it, but I really like it. And 
I'm going to have to also go with Children of the Corn Part 4. It's so underrated and it's such a great movie. Uh, I actually prefer it to the original. So, uh, yeah. Next, uh, what horror movie do you consider overrated? Uh, I've mentioned Scary Movie a whole bunch of times. Not really a horror movie, but it's based on it, so there's that. And, uh... But for the official one, I've got to go with An American Werewolf in London. Uh, I just couldn't really get into it. The, the Ring is another one like that. Uh, they're good movies, I just can't get into them. So, that's just me. Uh, and then, number nine, what do you think of modern horror movies? I wrote one word for that. Crap. Um... You know, they're just not what they used to be. Uh, especially in the past few years, they've been really bad. But I feel like this year's going to be a good year for horror, and I believe that in the years to come, we'll see a revival in the slasher movie. Uh, we've definitely, we've got zombies, and we've got haunted house movies, and we've got demons. But we really need a revival in the slasher movie, because a slasher film is the most prolific type of horror movie and it's definitely one of the most popular and the most diverse. So, I mean, it's the big horror film. Uh, we also need better creature features at the moment. So, uh, I'm hoping for a resurgence in that. And I feel like we'll have one uh, pretty soon. This year seems pretty good. But uh, that kind of leads into the tenth question. What horror movie are you looking forward to seeing? Uh... You know, a lot of people make fun of sequels, but I do like certain sequels, um, and I love franchises, uh, so I'm going to have to go ahead and just say, uh, for one, uh, probably Curse of Chucky, that's going to be direct to DVD, uh, I really want to see that, and I'm also looking forward to Hatchet 3, and there's rumors of Scream 5, so... There's that. And I'd also like to see a sequel to um, uh, Stitches in the works because I love that movie. I think it's a great film. Uh, definitely one of the best modern horror movies that I've seen. Uh, so, yeah. I'm looking forward to that. And uh, there's the tag. Um, uh, really, anyone who subscribed to uh, um, Horror Fanatic 78 you should do this tag. Uh, if you're not subscribed to him, subscribe to him, watch the video, do the tag. And, um, you know, I like to tag just about everybody. Uh, since he's tagged me, I'm going to tag some other people. So I'm just going to tag everybody who uh, is subscribed to me. You guys are all welcome to do the tag um, since I'm it right now. So one of the people who are it. Uh, you know, so be watching out for other people doing videos. I know Andrew Bauna was tagged. Um, I know Bruce, Bruce Lee Jun Fan is uh, tagged. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. And definitely go subscribe to all the people mentioned, especially Fanatic 78 He's a great guy. Uh, but rock on if you like subscribe. Hope you like the video. See you guys.